the sun, known throughout history by many names, Ra, Apollo, Helios. For eons, the sun has been worshipped, harnessed, and now replaced. As you all know, after three million years of exclusivity, the U.S. corporation Halliburton has been awarded the contract for supplying solar energy to the Earth. But what does this really mean for the future of the environment, the global economy, for the average citizen, for you? With six months left in the Sun's contract, we felt it was important to explore the deeper impact of this pending change and what it will mean in our day-to-day -day lives. We begin in this park where average people have been drawn outside by the intoxicating rays of our sun. Well, you know, the sun's had this monopoly for like a billion years, and what have we really gotten from it? Global warming, heat strokes, skin cancer. I think it's time someone like Halliburton steps in and controls these temperature fluctuations. Why would we risk something so important unless someone has something to gain from it? Are we at risk? To answer that question, I talked to a NASA scientist whose identity could not be revealed because his views are not the views of the administration. Providing global solar energy is a very complex undertaking. To begin with, the energy that the sun produces is billions of gigajoules. Harnessing the energy of the sun without actually using the sun is a practical impossibility. Short of subcontracting out to another star, there's no way they can achieve it. Someone has to tell the truth here. It can't be done. Can't it? Halliburton declined to be interviewed for this expose, but released the following statement. As you can see, they anticipate no problems. In fact, they claim to be able to improve over the services currently provided by the sun. Halliburton never even said how this is going to work. Is the sun going away? And what about the moon? Will it go dark? And vitamins? Am I going to have to take supplements? I get cranky when I don't get enough sun. Those are valid questions, Janet. Do they really think they're going to be able to send the sun away? It's ridiculous how little science has gone into this. They paid people off to approve this contract. I'm sure of it. Scientists aren't the only ones reacting strongly to the sun's dismissal. In fact, global warming has been rising exponentially since the new contract has been announced. Coincidence? The sun is out of control. Look at what has happened to those glaciers in Canada. The accusations that the sun was responsible for the melting of Athabasca Glacier is completely without merit. We deny any involvement and challenge the government to follow the leads that we found pointing to the radical anti-sun terrorist movement. I heard the sun's going to go supernova at the end of its contract. What are we going to do then? Look, the sun has been doing this for 4.57 billion years. That's a long time. It is looking forward to a normal retirement like anyone else would. I think you'll find the sun on a Florida golf course, as you'd expect. Only time will tell if this change will mean an improvement in our daily lives or simply more government corruption. Opinions are divided. Corporate efficiency or government conspiracy? You decide. <laughs>